Uh, so today was our second scrimmage, and uh, you know, really the last time we'll we'll uh, you know, be a full group, good on good. Uh, Monday we'll do a little uh, kind of controlled half scrimmage, but it'll be it'll be a it'll be all mixed up, uh, and uh, you know, split the team and get ready for a hopefully a fun and, and competitive game uh, next weekend. I think it's going to be uh, a lot of great energy and a lot of guys excited uh, to go compete. Uh, and uh, so when you split the team, you'll see a lot of guys get a lot of reps. So it'll be a good evaluation day for us to finish spring. Uh, but a lot of great things today. I loved how we ran the football. Uh, super impressed with our running backs. Uh, a lot of big plays. I uh, did not think our, our – uh, Mindset defensively was where it needed to be as far as stopping the run. Uh, but, man, then the defense, I thought they they kind of flipped the script. They created some turnovers in the red zone. Uh, they created a safety in a, in coming off the goal line. Um, so there was we – had, we had some turnovers, uh, a couple interceptions. We had a fumble recovery. Uh, and then there was a lot of big plays off it. So it was one of those days, uh, you know, there's some good and bad on both sides. Had way too many penalties. Uh, on offense, some really critical penalties, a uh, uh, bad snap in the, uh, in the two minute drill. Uh, but the, both offenses won the game in our two minute drill today. It was good to see that. We, we had a game winning field goal with, with Potter, game winning field goal with Whites. Uh, worked on every phase of special teams today. So this was a really good day, very thorough practice. Uh, the, the effort's good, uh, but, uh, you know, we, we, got a, we got a long way to go uh, to be able to, we'd, we'd have gotten, we'd gotten uh, smashed today, you know, with the mistakes, too many critical uh, penalties, uh, missed tackles, um, uh, had, had some, had some you know, bad mistakes in the red zone uh, with some details of what we've got to do uh, in those situational things. And uh, so, you know, but, but again, uh, it turned it over. Uh, so lots of, lots of mistakes. You know, we get, we've got a, we've got a, a stop, in a two-minute drive situation, uh, but our defense lines up offside, so it gives them life, they go win the game. So, so costly mistakes on both sides, some really good things on both sides. Uh, but, uh, you know, again, way too many mistakes uh, to be able to, to, to win. And uh, so, you know, we got a lot of work to do. But we'll, we'll, we'll grade this, uh, coach them up from that. Thank goodness we don't, we don't play today. Uh, but I think that, uh, you know, if we can learn from, from what, I, what we put on tape this spring, carry into uh, our plan, carry our plan out that we have for uh, post spring and into the summer, uh, we've got a chance to be a good football team. See a lot of positive things in our offensive line. Uh, really, really pleased with the depth that we're really developing there with, with you know, not just guys that are on the depth chart, but guys that can go play. Uh, so there's a lot of good things going on. Uh, on both sides, again, uh, just too many, too many costly mistakes. But we're repping everybody, repping three groups. So sometimes that stuff adds up. Uh, and, um, you know, we'll, we'll grow from it. <clears throat> hey, coaches, Trevor Gross from CUTalkers.com. Um, have you started to see guys on both sides of the ball uh, starting to accept and embrace uh, DJ as the, the new leader of this team? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, everybody, everybody has – Unbelievable respect for DJ. I mean, he, he earned that uh, last year, last spring, last summer. You know, they last last season. They they all uh, respect DJ uh, tremendously, and uh, he's done a lot of good things. But he's he's still you know uh, you, you get reminded quickly he's he's not been the starter yet. You know, outside of a couple of games, he's 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 still you know we're trying to put him in as many situations and expose him as much as we possibly can. Uh, so that he can grow. We need him to grow. And, and you know, he made some mistakes today, uh, a couple of critical mistakes in, in, in the red zone that we can't make, whether it be the right decision in the run game or just protecting the football, you know, protect the ball, uh, you know, situational awareness. Uh, don't try to do too much. Play within the system. And, uh, you know, so, yeah, but absolutely, uh, he, he's, got, he's got tremendous respect from his teammates. Hey, Dabo, you said you loved the running game today. What exactly did the running backs do that, that made you uh, feel that way? They all made plays. They all ran tough. They all ran physical. Uh, super, 
and we, you know, we did coming out, we did goal line, first and goal to Florida win the game. We, 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 we emphasized the run today offensively. I really wanted to challenge our defense. And uh, I just was really impressed with every single one of them. I mean, we got a very good group, uh, but I just thought they were tough. Uh, we had some guys make some big, big plays, some long plays. And, uh, uh, but all of them, all of them showed up, every single one of them. Uh, not a single one of those running backs uh, was, was, was disappointing today. I mean, it's a lot of competition at that position. That's a, that's a, that's a group that, that has a chance to be special. Hey, Coach, it's David. Uh, going back to the offensive line there, are you trying to rep maybe a first group together, seeing as how they didn't get a lot of time last spring, or are you kind of mixing and matching maybe Paul Teo gets time with Hunter Rayburn? And, you know, would you consider maybe putting a first group together a little bit in the spring game? No, no. We split them up, and we've mixed them up, you know, all spring. I mean, our first box course has not done any live work. Uh, we, we all know what he can do. So T.O. has pretty much, you know, been the starter in there at left guard, and, and he's done a great job. It's been really good for him. You know, Bach has worked, you know, guard and center all spring with, with our – all of our team separate install stuff. Uh, but he's he's not done any live work. And so that's been great. It's been great for Rayburn. It's been great for Trotter. It's been great for T.O. We, we've, we've mixed all those guys up in there and challenged them. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm really, really pleased with the progress that we've made. And uh, with all those guys, big John Williams, he, he's making a lot of progress. Brian Tucker uh, is coming on. Uh, I hate that we haven't had Trent Howard out here. He, he, he's not been able to go. He got mono. And, uh, you know, he, he's a guy that, that we have high hopes for. And he hasn't been able to, to, to do anything. He's getting better. Marcus Tate, Marcus Tate has really impressed. You know, Walker Parks is a new starter for us. And he is, he's not done anything to, to uh, dampen the enthusiasm that we've had for him as a player. He's got a chance to be a really special tackle for us. Jordan McFadden's been great, Putnam. Uh, pleased with all that group. But, you know, without having Bach going live, we, we, we've mixed uh, guys. Rayburn's, you know, played some guard, played some center, so it was Trotter. But T.O. T.O. has really, really done a great job. And, uh, you know, I feel good, again, about the, the, the functionality of that group. Uh, I really, really, we're not there yet, but I, I really feel like by the time we get through camp in August, you know, we'll be back where we used to be, you know, the previous couple of years. And that's having, you know, 9, 10, 11 guys that can not just be on a depth chart, but literally go play winning football for us. Because uh, that was that was a problem for us uh, last year. Hey, Davo, this is Anna with Clemson 24-7. Uh, how did the wide receivers look today and any one in particular stand out? It was actually a really good day. You know, we've got – you know, we're all, obviously Ross is out. Latson is, is, is not out there this week. Uh, uh, and uh, who am I forgetting? Here? Somebody here. One more. Oh, Speck, my man Speck. Uh, you know, Speck is, is not – he's out this week as well. So, you know, we're down three guys. And, uh, but, man, it's been great, you know. Really pleased with, with what uh, uh, a Joe has been able to do this spring. He made a huge play in the two minute. Made a couple big plays today. Joe has made great strides. He is night and day from where he was in August. He's still got a ways to go, but man, he has made big strides. He just has a much better understanding of what we're doing. Uh, you know, in Gata, uh, it was good to get him out there in the scrimmage situation again today. And uh, we all know what Ngata can do. He, he had a, you know, he creates a, a matchup problem. He draws PIs. He's a physical kid. Uh, you know, he, he did a nice job. EJ, EJ's probably had maybe his three best practices in a row. You know, just from intensity, attention to detail, uh, his physicality, making plays. You know, really pleased with him. Uh, the two young guys are off the charts, man. I'm going to tell you, I, I, I love the Kari Collins and Bo Collins. These are, these are two great young players. Uh, the Kari made a huge play today. Bo made a couple of plays, uh, you know, so, you know, really doing a good job. And, and, and Will Brown and Will Sweeney, uh, they, those two guys, man, have done a great job for us in the slot with, with Ross and Speck out. Those guys have really uh, had great springs. Both of them made – you know, uh, a lot of plays today. Drew made several plays today. Max May had a touchdown catch today. Uh, you know, so just that whole group of receivers have 
have really uh, performed well and uh, blocking well on the edge. And that's one of the reasons that, that, we, that we were able to pop some things in the running game uh, because of some of the perimeter blocking that we're getting out of those guys. So really pleased with the group. Uh, obviously, we get Ladson and, and Justin Ross uh, and Speck back in there. And we got Stiletto coming this summer. Uh, we've got a chance to be an elite group there. Dabo, this is uh, Larry. How did uh, Pumashan look today? Yeah, you know, this is his first time to really scrimmage because uh, he missed the first one uh, before the break, and he did a lot of good things. I, I love, I just, I love his uh, uh, his ability to create. You know, uh, I, I had to really, I had to kind of challenge him and DJ today to quit acting like they got that purple jersey on and, and really play as if you know they're live. You know, I think sometimes you can. It can get a little bit of a, you know, but it's how we got to practice. But I, I like, uh, you know, some of the plays that he made with his legs. He made a couple of really nice throws, uh, had good body language to him. You know, and, and again, this was his first live scrimmage work uh, in the stadium, you know, since since the season. So it was a, it was a solid day. Uh, he's, he might have some plays he'd like to have back, but he's a guy that has got to continue to progress for us. And then Hunter went in there, and I thought he, he – uh, uh, did a solid job as well and uh, had a couple of nice plays. But all three of them made some mistakes, uh, you know, that, that, that we've got to learn from. Uh, but, uh, you know, they're progressing in the right direction. Dabo, this is Grace from The Athletic. Um, before you all went on spring break, I think it was Trenton Simpson was telling us about how the defense still has very much not forgotten the playoff. It comes up in the locker room a lot. Um, but what have you just observed from Venables this spring as he looks to make – improvements after these last two playoffs? I mean, I mean, just going back to work. Uh, it's what we do every year. We go back to work. Uh, I mean, getting those playoff games, listen, I mean, we've been on both sides of that. Two years ago, we won one by 28 points against the team that just won it this year. Uh, you know, those, those games, it's hard. You know, we, we took our took our lumps the last couple of years, but, uh, you know, you got to be ready in those moments, and, you know, but you, you got to be good enough to get there. Uh, so <laughs> it ain't like it's, it's all bad. So just more of the same, you know, we, we, we've been uh, really, really good on defense around here for a long time. And, uh, you know, Brent's as good as it gets. Uh, but, you know, our eyes aren't in the rear view mirror. Our eyes are forward. It's about this team. It's about getting this group ready, uh, you know, for the opener on September 4th. We've got a long way to go. We've got some time to get the work done. But uh, just seeing – the same commitment from Brent Reynolds that I've seen ever since he got here. Uh, he's always been locked in, focused, fully committed, uh, gives his best every single day that he walks in the building. He gives his best. And, uh, you know, you can count on that. Dabo, this is Matt. With, with Bo and Dakari, what is it about those freshman receivers in particular that you really like? Uh, I like their mentalities. Uh, they're tough kids. Uh, they're They're – as I've said a couple of times, way ahead of the curve, uh, you know, for a typical freshman as far as, um, you know, just the foundation uh, that you got to have to be a good receiver at this level. You know, they, they catch on things quick, uh, but fundamentally, technically, uh, they, they, they're they further along than a typical freshman. Those guys were well coached, well prepared. Uh, they attack the football and they finish plays. Uh, so they're just two, two really confident high school seniors that are out here practicing with the Tigers, and uh, they're just going to get better. Yeah, but, and, uh, and, go ahead. Dad, yeah, looking at the linebacker core, I know you said you were let, pulling Jamie back a little bit this spring, letting some other guys get some snaps. How are Keith McGuire looking in the freshman Jeremiah Trotter when they get their stare their snaps in there? Those guys have been great, man. I mean, we got an outstanding – there's, there's a reason why we only signed one linebacker, you know, in this class. Uh, and, and we're only going to sign one. You, you better go get a great one. And that's what we did in Trotter. Trotter is, Trotter is, is, a, is a really, really good football player. Very natural. Uh, he's got a bright, bright future for us. I mean, super excited about him. And, you know, but one of the reasons we only signed one guy is because we love our roster. You know, we love Kane Patterson and McGuire and Bentley. You know, uh, Jake and Trenton, Sergio. Uh, I mean, we we love 
the guys that we have. And, uh, you know, McGuire's going to be a redshirt sophomore. And, and, you know, he's the game is slowing down. Uh, you know, it's not an easy position to play. Uh, Bentley has been awesome this spring. You know, he's going to be a redshirt sophomore. Uh, so, you know, I'm really pleased with, with what I've seen out of that group. Swint is, is a – he's a very natural player, and, and he's cross-trained. He's playing back or playing DN. Uh, he's doing a little bit of both, and he's a guy that that'll be on the field somewhere. He's going to help this team. Uh, he'll be a, a red shirt freshman for us. He and Sergio, and then Trenton Simpson is, you know, he's 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 working. Uh, you know, Will is working Sam, and, and you know, he's a guy that we can do a lot of things with. Um, he's he's made a lot of progress. And he's great for us as a, as a true freshman, and uh, he's he's on his way to, you know, having a having a another great year for us uh, if he stays healthy because he's he's just at a, another level from a knowledge standpoint. Dabo, this is Matt again. I, I know you said you want to see Tyson develop. Um, it, depending on what happens there, is there any chance you guys could go to the portal and try to bring in a backup QB or someone to, to compete for the backup job? No, no. I mean, we, that's, unless somebody left. Uh, somebody left, we, we you know, can't go recruit a high school kid in May, so somebody – Packed up and left left on us, we, we'd have no choice. But uh, you know, we we, we recruited Ty. We believe in Tyson Pumacha. Uh, he's a guy that he's, he's going to be a redshirt sophomore, and you know, he he's uh, uh, the third guy last year. But but he's he's a he's a critical piece to what we're trying to do, and uh, you know, we're excited about his development. And hopefully, we, you know, we didn't get a full spring last year, didn't get a proper summer skills and drills, all those type of things. And, and that's, that, that's huge. Uh, you know, uh, DJ is, is, uh, is an elite, elite talent. Uh, and, you know, that's not just because he, he won that backup job last year. That's not a knock against Tyson. Tyson is, Tyson is, has got a chance to be a great player and, and, and he's got a chance to help this team this year. Uh, we're going to need him. We need his skill set, And there's some things that he brings to the table that, that excites you. Uh, so if he'll just continue to, to come along, I think he's got a, a chance to be an outstanding player here. Uh, and, uh, you know, so as far as the portal, we got, we got two guys coming in here this summer. We've got Bubba uh, Chandler coming in here. We've got Will Taylor. Uh, so uh, we're excited about that. We've got uh, a young man named Billy Wiles coming in. So we've got, we've got some other guys and help on the way. It'll be a, it'll be a lot of competition uh, this fall. Coach, this is Todd in Spartanburg. A little bit more on Tyson. How, how much did it hurt him to be out a little bit? This seems like a crucial time for him. Yeah. I mean, mentally he's engaged and in a good place, but he just he just he couldn't practice it at the beginning. Uh, but you know, it's not, it's not, he's not a rookie. I mean, this, you know, he, he's been here uh two seasons now. So going into that red shirt sophomore year, uh, you know, this is this is a you know big week for him and big spring and big, big summer. Uh, and again, he's a he's a he's a critical piece to the puzzle for us uh, this fall. Debo, what uh, what was your evaluation of Galloway and Davis Allen over the entirety of last season, and what are some of the specific things you're sort of uh, looking uh, to them to looking at them uh, to improve? Yeah, well, they complement each other well. I thought Braden, uh, you know, really had a good year last year. Uh, really, kind of his his first time to kind of go, you know, be the guy. And uh, he did some good things, but he's he's still a developing guy. Uh, he's he's got to have a huge summer. Same thing. Didn't really get a full spring. Didn't get the proper summer. There's a big difference between working out and training. And we didn't get to. He didn't get to train properly. And he's he's a guy that really needs it. But he's man. Braden is a, a he's a pro. He'll play he'll play on Sunday. Davis Allen is the complete tight end. I mean, you, whatever you want in a tight end, he's got everything. He is the complete guy. Uh, and, and Braden is a developing guy that that's going to leave here as a complete guy. Uh, you know, he was a basketball player. He was undersized as far as just, and now he's become a, a physical kid. He's really worked hard in the weight room. He's special when it comes to making plays and yards after the catch and all that stuff. Now he's got great understanding of the game and the position. Uh, so they just complement each other really well. And uh, I think both of them, you know, got great futures here at Clemson, and both of them are going to be, you know, great NFL players one day. There's no doubt about it. Uh, 
So, but we got a lot of work to do, you know, to get them to, to, to maximize their potential. Uh, but Braden is just about, you know, having a great summer. And then, uh, you know, he hurt his finger. He's not going to be able to play next week because he hurt his finger. So uh, we're having to uh, do a little minor surgery on his finger. Uh, so he'll be out a couple of weeks. Um, but Davis has had a huge spring. I mean, he's just, a, like I said, a complete hard to find guys like him. Um, and uh, he's got great combination of size and speed, toughness and knowledge, and technique, and just understanding of the nuances of the position. Uh, but we, we've knocked it out of the park at tight end. That, that's, that's a position we have a chance. I think we've got a chance to be elite at, at running back, at tight end, and, and certainly at receiver, and uh, so much better in the offensive line. But the tight end position with Brenning Stool and Sage Ennis, same thing with Sage. He broke a finger, so he's, he's had a great spring. He's going to be out uh, next weekend. Uh, he's having surgery, I think, Monday or Tuesday on his finger. It was kind of a weird deal with two tight ends with their finger. But Sage Ennis, man, he has had a great year. He'd be a redshirt freshman. He's 250. He's as physical guy as we got on this team. And I really like what he's done this spring. And then Jake Brenningstool is, uh, is a playmaker. And he, he just got to get some lead in his butt. A uh, big summer for him. Man, he's a natural. He's long. He had two touchdowns today. He just makes plays. So it's a dynamic group. Uh, so between our receivers and running backs and, and tight ends, uh, this is probably as good a skilled group as we've had around here in a long time. And uh, it's exciting. Yeah, but another one of those freshmen you got there on the defense, Peyton Page. Love to hear your thoughts on him. Uh, doing well. Uh, he's made gr good strides. You know, high school kid coming in here. I love his toughness. I love his willingness to be coached. He, he's eager uh, to learn. And he is a load. Uh, he, he's, uh, he's got a chance to be a special player as well. He's got a lot to learn. But, you know, his natural ability, his get off, his push, uh, his ability to create another line of scrimmage when the ball snap, uh, you know, really makes him unique. Uh, hard to find guys like that. He's, he's, he's got to have a big summer as far as, you know, uh, becoming elite with his nutrition, uh, you know, and, and just getting his body where it needs to be for, for this level and the type of endurance he needs. Uh, but he's, uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a great young talent. Coach, uh, as you know, we talked to Coach Spiller the other day. Um, he was such a prolific return man, um, but obviously you can't teach things like his speed and, and some of the moves that he had in the open field. Are there still some things that he can impart uh, in the return game? Spiller? Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, absolutely. He's, he's – uh, he, he's got a lot of knowledge, man. And uh, he's, he's, in fact, we had a big return today. Uh, you know, Mikey Dukes broke a long one today. And uh, so I just think, you know, the pride that he took in that uh, is one thing that I, that I know uh, he'll transfer to those guys. And uh, he's coaching and, and he's going to take a lot of pride in who, who, who he puts back there and the details of, of what we're doing and really understanding the timing of the blocks and, and the scheme. Because uh, all that stuff matters, but uh, yeah, we're gonna have a good group uh, return once. We've got time for one or two more. Hey, and coach, who the top again, team? What have you seen out of maybe some of those backup defensive linemen like Capehart, Trey Williams, uh, Greg Williams, some of those guys that we don't necessarily hear about a lot? Yeah, Greg's making a lot of progress. Uh, he's gonna be, I guess, he's a red shirt sophomore and, and still a transitioning fully to the DN. And I love where he is. I love his mentality. I love his commitment. Uh, I, I think he's a guy that's, that's you know, going to be a, a kid that you know, going to just keep getting better. And, you know, nobody really says much about him, but we'll look up here in a couple of years and everybody's going to be going, dang, that Greg Williams that turned out to be a great player. That's kind of what I see in him because I think he's made in the right stuff um, and excited about him. You know, those young guys, Kate Park's making progress. Uh, he, he's a, a different guy than he was this time last year, just like a, deer in headlights. Uh, Trey Williams, you know, is, is as advertised. He's a special talent, explosive. He's got a, uh, a great knack for finding the ball. He's tough. Um, he's still got, you know, fundamentally and technically to improve. Uh, he's got to improve with his knowledge. And, uh, you know, he was hurt, had shoulder surgery last year, played a couple games, but uh, really, really uh, excited about all those young guys, man. And uh, same thing, you know, with, with uh, you know, Peyton. And then, you know, Brzee, I, I notice him every single day. 
uh, I notice for Z. I mean, every day. There's not a day that goes by that I don't notice number 11. Uh, he had a safety today. I mean, he is just a problem, and he's passionate about it. Uh, so I'm excited about all those young guys that come in here, and uh, you know, they've got a bright future uh, in that group. We'll go to Larry for the last one. Yeah, I was just curious how the tackling has been in the secondary with your safeties and, and corners. Not great. Not great, to be honest with you. Not great. Nowhere near good enough. Anywhere. Linebacker, we, we're not tackling well enough on defense at all. Uh, you know, we, 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 got, we got work to do there. All right. With that, we'll wrap up. If you all will join us in room two, we're about to be joined momentarily by Sean.